the double K. This is Cat Scales. Are you ready? Episode 134. On today's show, we have Switch with Mr. Provost, Mr. Flaherty, a new heap of the week, and a Nate that we didn't get to show you. Enjoy! Enjoy. 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 <laughs> Coming up is News at the Hill. Hello, and welcome to News at the Hill. That's Nate for short. I'm Kobe Sark. And I'm Tara O'Malley. We're here to investigate the exciting story about the rising prices of the vending machines. It's kind of like gas. But it's juice. We decided to keep a neutral attitude towards the rising prices of the vending machines. Uh, no! The juice! Well, well, the prices are rising. As you can see, they're $1.25 now. And there's nothing really you can do to stop it. We're here with Mr. Gilrain. Mr. Gilrain, do you know anything about the gas of the gas prices? It's like gas prices. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. It's like gas prices. Do you know anything? Like the juice prices. In terms of the juice prices going up. Yes. I don't. The first I've heard about this is from you telling me just now. Really? I think it's outrageous when you can get it free from a bubbler. Why should you have to pay a dollar twenty-five in a bottle? It is outrageous. It's outrageous that we have to bring another dollar. Just to be refreshed. Just to be refreshed. I say boycott water. We should. We should boycott. Says Mr. Gilrain, we should boycott. Absolutely. Or get it back for a dollar. Or get it back. Juice prices. Thank you very much, Mr. Gilrain. Well, what can I say? Prices have gone up uh, across the board for everything. You know how much you pay for gasoline nowadays. Yes. And then it's going to be going up. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, uh, some of the food deliveries that I get, they put uh, the delivery charge ah. on top of it. So everything is going up. Uh, it's not our fault that we have to somehow maintain some balance, you mm -hmm. know. I understand. It's not as easy as uh, we might want to uh, look at it, uh, simply because Coca-Cola has been good to the school. Uh, last year they have uh, given us uh, uh, I don't know, six, seven thousand dollars for scholarships. Uh, so they always do things for us. For the cafeteria, they have bought the computers. So I think if we just jump and go with somebody else, uh, we're going to show them some kind of disrespect. They are taking care of us. I don't drink don't uh, either. Uh, but uh, prior to that, I used. You know, if it was a soda, when I was able to drink, let's say, I used to drink Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> the plan for it, uh, but again, uh, everything is relevant, so we cannot foretell. Maybe things are going to balance uh, if we have a change in uh, mind, the politics in Washington or something like that. Yes. So uh, hopefully, you know, no. Hello and welcome back to News of the Hill. In other news, we have information about last week's uh, honors dinner. With, um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get any footage about the honors dinner because the camera that we were using had to go to the camera hospital and get a repair. But with us, we have a person who is actually at the honors dinner, Steph LaRoche. So tell me, how was the food there at the honors dinner? It was good. Hmm. What were they serving? Uh, steak and mm. green beans and baked potato. Oh, sounds delicious. Can't believe I wasn't there. How was the how was the uh, 
receptions and the speeches that everyone was giving? Mm, oh, some of them were okay. That's good. They were probably really interesting, right, Steph? Right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.